Today, we're diving into an exciting and incredibly relevant topic, mastering business planning with ChatGPT. If you're a business owner, entrepreneur, or even someone who's just curious about the intersection of AI and business, you've come to the right place. Now, let's get started and jump right in. To effectively use ChatGPT for business planning, it's crucial to first understand what ChatGPT is and how it operates. ChatGPT, developed by OpenAI, is a natural language processing AI. It's designed to understand and generate human-like text based on the input it receives. What makes ChatGPT remarkable is its ability to comprehend complex queries and provide informative, contextually relevant responses. This isn't just about answering questions. It's about providing insights, suggestions, and even generating creative content. In business planning, ChatGPT can be an invaluable asset. It can help with researching market trends, brainstorming ideas, drafting sections of a business plan, and even assisting with financial projections. It's like having an assistant who can process large amounts of information, generate creative solutions, and offer data-driven advice all at your fingertips. And whether you're looking to stay ahead of market trends, seeking inspiration for innovative business ideas, or needing assistance in articulating your business strategy, ChatGPT stands as a versatile and powerful tool that enhances your planning and decision-making processes. The possibilities are endless, and and understanding how to harness its capabilities will open up new avenues for your business growth and innovation. Now that we have a solid grasp of what ChatGPT is and its potential in business planning, let's move on to how you can start utilizing this powerful tool in your own business strategy. The first step is accessing ChatGPT. Head over to the ChatGPT website, openai.com, if you're new, you'll need to create an account, and I've left a link below to help you find it easily. Signing up is a straightforward process. Just follow the on-screen instructions. For those of you who already have an account, simply log in. Once you're in, take a moment to familiarize yourself with the interface. It's user-friendly and intuitive. You'll find the main area here where you can type your queries, and that will be located down here. And whether you're using the free or paid version, your screen will look almost the same. The free version is ChatGPT 3.5. Very, very powerful. You don't need to get a paid account. I personally do because I use it a lot and I find it very, very valuable. And spending the monthly fee to access its entire potential really is of value to me. FYI, before we begin, I use a Google Chrome extension called Voice Control for ChatGPT, which is why you see this little microphone here. This allows me to speak in my queries rather than typing it into the query bar here. It also talks back ChatGPT's responses, and I mute it because it speaks too slow for me. So you can either leave it on and hear the responses, or you can mute ChatGPT and move on. Before you begin your first query, it's a good idea to set up ChatGPT to suit your specific business planning needs and preferences. This might involve adjusting the settings to tailor the complexity of the responses or selecting specific domains or industries relevant to your business. I'm keeping things simple. I'm not doing too much of a setup. It really is specific to what your needs are, so we won't go too much into that here. One thing that I do recommend is setting the tone and the writing style that you want your responses to come back in. I prefer authoritative and in a conversational manner. However, you want to set it up that's based on, again, your personal preferences. Remember, the way you phrase your questions can significantly impact the quality of the responses you get. Being clear, concise, and specific with your queries will yield you more targeted and useful information. For example, instead of asking a generic question like, how do I write a business plan? Which there's nothing wrong with starting there. Try asking something more specific such as what are the key components of a business plan for a tech startup? 
This level of specificity guides ChatGPT to provide more tailored and relevant advice. Setting up ChatGPT correctly is the first critical step in leveraging its full potential for your business planning. With the right setup and approach, ChatGPT can become an indispensable tool in your toolkit. Now that you're all set up, let's move forward and look into the practical application of ChatGPT in different aspects of business planning. Let's break down this process into key areas where ChatGPT can make a significant impact. Let's start with market analysis with ChatGPT. A solid business plan starts with a thorough market analysis. Using ChatGPT, you could gather insights on market trends, customer demographics, and your competition. For instance, you might ask ChatGPT to summarize the latest trends in your industry or to provide data on your target customer base. Here are some examples. Summarize the latest trends in the renewable energy industry for 2023. Here, because I'm using ChatGPT4 actually, it is searching the internet and it's researching the latest trends for 2023 in this specific industry. This is one of the reasons why I encourage you to use ChatGPT4 rather than ChatGPT3. It's just much more powerful. Here, it went out into the internet, it did a little bit of research, and it looked into rapid growth of renewables amid an energy crisis, China's dominant role, the impact of climate change on hydro energy, and then it explains everything out for you and does a thorough analysis of your industry. Next, let's do a prompt for customer demographics. What are the key demographics for consumers interested in eco-friendly home products? So now here you can see it's done its research and it's giving you all the customer demographics for customers interested in eco-friendly home products. And then it does cite resources that it's used to provide the information. One caveat, sometimes it just heads over to a general website. What you wanna do as you're doing your research is you wanna click on these links to make sure they're going to an actual report and actual data because you want to make sure you're on point with what you need for your business. Next, let's do a prompt for competitive analysis. Let's take a closer look at how different online fitness platforms are competing. I'd like to understand their strategies, what makes each unique, and how they're making an impact in the digital fitness world. Here you go, doing research with Bing, searching the comparison of online fitness platform strategies in 2023. Now this prompt highlights how ChatGPT can offer insights into the competition, helping businesses understand their market position. Here you can see integration of wearable technology, audience growth through social media, hybrid content. It's giving you a lot of information, viral fitness trends, digital downloads and programs. Building on that, let's do a prompt for market opportunity assessment. What are the emerging opportunities in the digital marketing sector for small fitness businesses? It's thinking, it's thinking, it's thinking, and here it goes. What, what this illustrates now is ChatGPT's utility in uncovering potential market opportunities, which will also aid in your strategic planning. And it'll go into things like leveraging video content, personalized customer experience, search engine optimization, mobile optimization. 
Okay, email marketing, influencer collaboration, social media engagement, and then even user-generated content. Let's do a prompt for a market challenges overview. What challenges are currently being faced by startups in the health and fitness sector? It's doing research with Bing again and doing research for 2023. Again, this is for ChatGPT4. You will not have this feature in ChatGPT 3.3. Be aware of that, okay? Although I will say, as this is thinking, ChatGPT 3.5 is still a valuable tool. Now here, you'll see ChatGPT provides an overview of the current challenges in this specific sector, which is vital for risk assessment and planning. It even talks about the effect COVID had on the fitness industry and at-home equipment. Now, these insights that we just uncovered, they form the foundation of your business strategy, helping you make informed decisions about product development, marketing, and more. Next is validating your business ideas. ChatGPT can assist in brainstorming sessions, offering creative suggestions, and even help to evaluate the feasibility of your ideas. By asking questions like, what are the potential challenges of launching a product in this niche? ChatGPT can provide a range of considerations that you might not have even thought of. Here are some examples to show you what I mean. Let's do a prompt for idea feasibility. Assess the feasibility of starting a subscription-based meal kit service focused on vegan options. Now, what this will show you is how ChatGPT can evaluate the practicality of a specific business idea, considering market demand, because it's doing research, and even the operational aspects. As ChatGPT starts spelling everything out, it'll go into growing market trend for meal kits, the rising demand for vegetarian and vegan meal kits, regional growth opportunities, and even challenges to consider as you're starting this up. Now let's do a prompt for brainstorming business ideas like this. Can you suggest some innovative business ideas for eco-friendly fashion in urban markets? What this will demonstrate is ChatGPT's ability to generate creative business ideas, particularly in niche markets, which shows its capacity for ideation. Again, here it's doing Bing research. Now, what ChatGPT came up with was 10 ideas for innovative, eco friendly fashion ideas. So, upcycled fashion line and eco friendly fabric innovation, zero waste design, sustainable fashion marketplace, eco friendly subscription box, virtual fashion try on app green fashion pop-up shops, fashion recycling program, eco-friendly fashion consulting. And if you're not happy with these 10 ideas, you can always ask ChatGPT to give you more ideas. So don't let this box you in at all. Let's look into a prompt for identifying potential challenges in business. What are the potential challenges in launching an app-based personal finance advisory service? It's doing being research. It'll think about the response and it will search for potential challenges in launching this type of app. Now what ChatGPT has come up with is it's telling you first, make sure you're identifying your target audience and then make sure you're building a comprehensive business plan that will help you avoid the pitfalls because you've done some research. It'll give you advice on creating a solid financial projection. It'll let you know to be aware of legal and regulatory requirements, secure funding. It'll tell you to make sure you're building a skilled team. 
It'll address user experience challenges and so much more. So here, what ChatGPT did was identify possible hurdles a new business might face, which will help you in preemptive planning. Let's do a prompt for a strategy for market entry. Suggest a market entry strategy for an AI powered educational tool targeting high school students. Again, it's doing research on Bing and it's looking for market entry strategy for educational technology products. Here, what ChatGPT did was develop a strategy for you that you can follow as you enter a new market with your AI powered educational tool for high school students. This interaction that we just went through with ChatGPT is invaluable in refining your business concept and strategy because it gives you a thorough understanding of your idea suggest creative improvements, identifies possible risks, and guides you in making smart plans for your business. All these factors are crucial for your business to thrive and succeed. When it comes to drafting your business plan, ChatGPT is a tremendous help. It can assist in outlining each section of your business plan from your executive summary to financial projections. For instance, you can ask ChatGPT to help draft a mission statement or to outline the steps for a market entry. Here's how you do that. First, let's start with drafting an executive summary. Draft an executive summary for a startup focused on sustainable fashion. Here you can see how ChatGPT can create a concise an impactful executive summary, setting the tone for your business plan. Here you can see that ChatGPT came up with a mission statement, vision statement, went into market opportunity, product line, business model, marketing strategy, financial projections, funding requests, and even concluded your executive summary. Let's go into formulating a mission statement. I need a mission statement for a tech company specializing in educational software. Can you draft one? And here you go. It gave you a mission statement where you can insert your company name. This demonstrates ChatGPT's ability to articulate a company's core objectives and values in a clear, compelling mission statement. Empowering education through innovation at your company name. Our mission is to revolutionize the learning experience by harnessing the power of technology. Now let's ask ChatGPT to outline market entry steps. What are the key steps for a small organic cafe to enter the local market in Las Vegas? So if you wanted to open up an organic cafe in Las Vegas, here it's going to tell you, do your market research, develop a business plan, source your ingredients, consider branding and marketing. It'll give you general steps. And then this will be a basic outline for you to build upon. Definitely build upon, ask more questions if you like the results of this or ask it to rebuild it again. Now let's take a look at developing a marketing strategy. Help me develop a marketing strategy for an online freelance platform targeting young professionals. Now what you see here is how ChatGPT can assist in creating a detailed marketing strategy, which addresses target demographics, channels, and tactics. Now let's look at creating some financial projections. Can you assist me in outlining the financial projections for a startup in the renewable energy sector? It's giving you financial projections for a startup in a specific sector of business. Okay. Tells you the startup costs. It's giving you revenue projections, cost of goods sold, gross margin, operating expenses, EBITDA, which is earnings before interest taxes, depreciation and amortization, net profit, break even analysis, cash flow projections, and even does a scenario analysis with funding requirements, everything. 
Using ChatGPT not only saves time, but also ensures that your plan is comprehensive and well-structured. Financial planning is a crucial component of any business plan. ChatGPT can aid in creating basic financial models, suggesting key metrics to track, and even offering templates for financial projections. Let's do a prompt for projecting revenue growth. Can you help me project the revenue growth for a boutique over the next three years? ChatGPT can assist in creating revenue growth projections, an essential aspect of financial planning, and this response shows how ChatGPT can analyze and predict future financial performance based on the business type and market trends. While it's not a replacement for professional financial advice, ChatGPT can provide a solid starting point for your financial planning and even spark conversations between you and your financial advisors. By leveraging ChatGPT in these key areas, you can ensure that your business plan is robust, innovative, and tailored to your specific needs and goals. This AI tool empowers you to make data-driven decisions and to approach your business strategy with confidence. Having explored the key areas where ChatGPT can enhance business planning, let's look at some practical applications and tips to ensure you're making the most out of this tool. One of the strengths of ChatGPT is its ability to tailor responses to specific needs. To get the best out of it, it's important to ask detailed and focused questions. For example, if you're in the retail sector, you might ask, what are the emerging trends in online retail for health products? This specificity helps ChatGPT provide more relevant and actionable insights. Let me show you more specific examples so you can see what I mean. Let's look at the hospitality industry and boutique hotels specifically. A basic prompt would be, tell me about marketing for hotels. So with this general question, I mean, you've got a, a, a nice outline for marketing for hotels. It'll give you a nice overview, understanding the market, brand positioning, digital marketing, content, email marketing, loyalty programs, etc. But now let's try something specific. Can you list some innovative marketing strategies specifically for boutique hotels in urban areas? So now with this more specific prompt, you have a strategy mapped out for you that's more specific to a boutique hotel than it would be to a hotel in general. Now, maybe you're an eco-friendly clothing brand and you want to look at sustainable business practices. A basic prompt that you can ask would be, how do I make my business more sustainable? So here you're getting how to, you can make your business more sustainable, but it's very general. Although it's got some great ideas that you can implement, a more effective prompt that would work for an eco-friendly clothing brand specifically would be, can you suggest some sustainable supply chain practices for a small eco-friendly clothing brand? Now that we were more targeted in our query, we have advice on sustainable supply chain practices that are specifically applicable to eco-friendly clothing brands. Bottom line is the more specific your query is, the more applicable the responses are to your specific request. ChatGPT can also play a crucial role in your decision-making process. While it doesn't replace human judgment, it can provide data-driven insights and perspectives that you might not have otherwise considered. For instance, you can use ChatGPT to analyze the pros and cons of a particular business move or to simulate potential market reactions to a new product launch. For example, you can ask ChatGPT to come up with an expansion strategy. So an example of that would be, what are the pros and cons of expanding my local bakery business into an online platform? And here you can see that ChatGPT came up with 
the pros and the cons. Now let's say you are thinking about launching a new product and you want to simulate a market reaction. Here's a good prompt for that. How might customers in the health and wellness market react to the introduction of a new AI-based fitness app? The aim here is to use ChatGPT to simulate potential customer reactions in a specific market segment, which provides valuable insights for product launch strategies. So here it'll tell you positive reactions, cautious or negative reactions and even potential neutral reactions. Let's do one more assessment on social media campaigns. What could be the positive outcomes and potential risks of launching an aggressive social media marketing campaign for my boutique hotel? The goal here is to analyze how an aggressive marketing approach might impact the business, considering both the potential gains and the risks involved. So here it'll list you your positive outcomes, your potential risks, and it'll even make a recommendation to mitigate the risks. Doing this creates a more well-rounded decision-making process, taking into account various angles and data points. ChatGPT can be a valuable brainstorming partner with creativity and innovation too. It can suggest innovative ideas, provide creative solutions to problems, and even help craft unique marketing messages. For brainstorming innovative product ideas, can you suggest some innovative product ideas for an eco-friendly home goods store? And here you can see that ChatGPT can generate unique and eco-conscious product ideas, which showcases its ability to think creatively within specific business niches. Now, let's say you have a business challenge and you want to develop a creative solution. What are some creative solutions to reduce operational costs in a small cafe without compromising quality? Here, you can see that ChatGPT can suggest out-of-the-box solutions to common business challenges in this case, cost reduction in a cafe setting. Now, how about crafting a unique marketing message? Let's try this. Help me create a unique marketing message for a new fitness app targeting busy professionals. And there you have it. This demonstrates how ChatGPT can assist in crafting compelling and targeted marketing messages tailored to a specific audience and product. Maximize your fitness, minimize your time. How about ideating innovative service offerings? What are some innovative service offerings that a digital marketing agency could provide to stand out in the market? And there you have it. The aim is to use ChatGPT to brainstorm unique and innovative services for a particular business sector. And this highlights its capability to think divergently in a competitive marketplace. Now let's look at problem solving in customer experience. Can you propose creative ways to enhance the online shopping experience for a fashion retail website? And here you go. ChatGPT came up with creative ways to enhance the online shopping experience for a fashion retail website. By engaging with ChatGPT in a creative dialogue, you can uncover new ideas and approaches that can set your business apart. Refining your interaction with ChatGPT is key to getting better results. This means learning from previous queries, adjusting your questions based on responses, and continuously fine-tuning the way you communicate with AI. The more precise and context-aware your questions are, the more useful your responses will be. Having witnessed ChatGPT's capabilities in real-time demonstrations, let's go into how to maximize its potential for your business planning. 
ChatGPT is a robust tool, but tapping into its full power requires some strategic approaches. ChatGPT offers a range of advanced features that can elevate your business planning. For instance, it can understand and generate text in multiple languages, which is incredibly useful if you're operating in a global market. Additionally, ChatGPT can remember previous parts of a conversation, allowing for a more coherent and contextual interaction over a session. These features enable a more sophisticated and tailored use of ChatGPT, aligning closely with your specific business needs. The key to maximizing ChatGPT's potential lies in how you formulate your queries. A well-phrased question can yield you significantly more detailed and useful answers. Experiment with different phrasings and provide clear context to get the most out of your interactions. Integrate ChatGPT into your regular business practices. Use it for daily tasks like drafting emails, preparing meeting agendas, or even generating reports. This continuous usage will not only enhance your productivity, but also deepen your understanding of its capabilities and limitations. This regular engagement makes ChatGPT a reliable and integral part of your business toolkit. As we come to the end of our journey through mastering business planning with ChatGPT, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've covered today. We've seen firsthand how ChatGPT can revolutionize the way we approach business planning from conducting thorough market research to drafting comprehensive business plans and even aiding in financial forecasting. We've explored the vast capabilities of ChatGPT demonstrated in practical applications and discussed strategies for maximizing its potential in your business operations. Remember, the power of ChatGPT lies not only in its advanced AI capabilities, but also in how you harness these capabilities to suit your unique business needs. I encourage you to experiment with ChatGPT and apply the tips and strategies we've discussed here, and then integrate this remarkable tool into your business planning processes. The more you use it, the more you'll discover its versatility and the value it can add to your business. I hope this video has been enlightening and that you feel better equipped to utilize ChatGPT in your business planning. If you found this content useful, please don't forget to give it a like, a share, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful business and technology content. And your feedback, it's invaluable to us. Feel free to leave your thoughts and experience or questions about using ChatGPT in the comments section below. We love hearing from you and are here to support your journey in leveraging AI for business success.